Then uh, next on the mic, uh, we, ha we are very proud and honored to have him here. Uh, booked in the last moment, Andreas Gebhardt. He, he can't walk the streets of Berlin because he's so uh, known. He had a Stückchen Schönhauser Allee here. I'm talking the truth about this, this 100 meters, I think. Um, he has a, a political career. Uh, he had an uh, uh, open source career in Linux. He founded uh, New Thinking uh, 10 years ago. Next Friday, there's a party. Uh, he is even uh, um, voted in the board of the football club uh, t uh, yesterday. I followed it on Twitter. Uh, he's a very interesting thinker and a very wise man. And uh, he's going to inspire us with a, with a short lecture because he has to leave at 2 o'clock. Andreas Gebhardt. Okay. Uh, Lucas, thanks so much. I think uh, you should do the talk. Uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> So nice words. Um, so I'm sorry that I have uh, uh, to rush a little bit in uh, also your presentation. Uh, I really like to hear what you did today, but uh, I just was invited last week, and uh, I have a packed timetable today, so I'm sorry for that. But I, uh, I picked a few projects we did in the last years um, to, to show you a little bit of our work. Um, as Lucas said, uh, I'm Andreas. I'm um, the CEO of New Thinking. We founded that company 10 years ago with the purpose to uh, bring um, open source software um, more into the society and having it in an aesthetical and more non-technical approach. So the idea is having this core technologies of the digital society in the hands of the people, in the hands of the companies, in the hands of the non-profit organizations, and not being owned by a certain company like you mentioned Apple or others. Um, they do evil, as we uh, at least know since last week, um, that our data is not safe if, uh, if this... Uh, companies are uh, using that and uh, if you get one um, layer um, more below that uh, it's very important that we all own our own infrastructure and that's what we uh, talk about when we say we talk about open source technologies and open source strategies. The three projects um, we did um, all in the last year uh, are just uh, uh, shall show you a little bit what you can do in an easy way with uh, already existing infrastructure with already existing uh, communities um, if you just think it a little bit beyond. So the first thing uh, you see here, this is our um, New Thinking magazine which we organized uh, in April this year. It's a 144 page magazine. I can't click it all through but you can just have an idea of it. It's a full magazine of, um, of the uh, 10 past years um, of New Thinking and we um, uh, the interesting part of it is how we did that. So we did it in, an, um, in a magazine sprint, as you may know, uh, a book sprint, which is an, um, an event uh, just in a short amount of time. We did it in three days, and we invited the whole community of New Thinking, all the people we did projects with in the last years, just to join and come together and having a, um, having a talk uh, about a magazine uh, which represent what we did in the last 10 years. So the first step was um, not doing uh, like, a, um, like a book ab about ourselves. We invited um, the people we worked with to, uh, to do it with us. So the, the result was really, really cool. Um, we, um, uh, we did not only have the uh, opportunity to, uh, to discuss all the topics of the last 10 years, we also had um, a discussion about, oh, this is a soccer club, um, uh, a discussion about how, uh, what kind of magazine we want uh, to buy at a, uh, in, in, a, in a magazine shop. And the interesting insight was uh, there, um, there was nearly nobody who still had uh, some kind of subscription. Uh, to a magazine. So nobody is really buying these magazines uh, in the way they did it maybe 10 years ago. So that was a very, very interesting insight how the usage of med media has changed dramatically in the last years. So what we did with the, with the magazine was um, we, we um, uh, sorted out who could write an article in these three days. Um, we did like a little bit like of um, a co-working. It was at the supermarket at Brunnenstraße. And um, afterwards, we just um, got, uh, put, uh, put it in the right way and uh, uh, let it design by a, uh, a group of design students. And um, why everybody teamed up? Uh, we had three things we could offer to the people. One thing was um, 
all uh, participants of our large conference, uh, Republica, would get a copy of that magazine. So this, that was very interesting for the, for the, uh, for the writers. Th second thing was uh, it, it's going to all the kiosks at, uh, at the train stations in Germany, and we send it to all our clients. So we had about 8,000 copies of that. And um, uh, unfortunately, I can't handle it to you because uh, they are all gone, um, except of um, maybe 20. So it was a very big success. And uh, the lesson was um, uh, include your community to talk about the things you are doing and not try to present yourself uh, on your own. It's much better to include your community. So the second project I want to show you is uh, it's a short movie. Um, what you see is um, this is uh, the main hall of the conference. Uh, Republica is... Uh, uh, conference where more than 4,000 people are coming to and last year we did that project with, uh, with our partners from uh, Raumlabor. Um, we just ordered um, 1,500 of these chairs and um, we thought okay we have to include the participants of the, um, of the um, event and this is now it's starting of the conference and uh, this is only the first day uh, and you will see what happens if you just include um, all the people that they can do what they want. There was no sign, there was no information, uh, handle the chair like this or that. Uh, but the, just, the people just did it. And that was very um, powerful because uh, everybody was gra grabbing a chair, um, sitting down and um, are discussing. Um, and yeah, I, I still like it very much, uh, the video, because it's, uh, we did... We didn't do, uh, do anything, it just happened. And in the end of the first day, um, the whole um, area was um, flooded by these chairs. And yeah, th so um, what, uh, what is this uh, lesson is about? Uh, if, you, if you have a community who's teaming up with you and working together with you, then you have to give them as much free space to create and to just organize themselves um, because. Um, uh, the, all the intelligence and all the creativity of the people uh, can be easily be uh, brought up um, on, only with such a, a small, um, very low-tech idea of uh, not organizing how the people are uh, teaming up, just giving them the opportunity to do it by, by themselves. Um, so the third um, thing I wanted to show you is a project which will happen this year again. So I have to have sound again. And it, it will just, it can just um, be in the background of, of what I want to talk to you. Because this is, um, this is a festival which is called Torstraßen Festival, uh, which we founded uh, three years ago. Why I do I want to show it to you? Um, because um, we uh, use uh, certain places in the city in a different way. Um, this, this festival um, happens at daytime uh, at Torstraße, as it is named. And we, um, what we did was um, we don't want to become bookers. We don't want to become um, um, concert organizers. Uh, we don't want to comp compete with, uh, with people who are doing that for their uh, daily job. What we wanted to do uh, was having a nice festival um, in the city using unused spaces um, well, um, to not com compete with the, these other people. So we asked all the bars, all the venues, more than 12 in the last year, uh, if they would open their venue at daytime when it's normally closed. So um, we give, uh, on one hand, the opportunity all the people who have these um, uh, this venues uh, to make some extra money. Uh, we uh, support the local music scene. We 90% um, of the bands uh, um, living in Berlin, not all from Berlin, there are a lot of coming from abroad. Um, then um, we give people the opportunity to see new bands in the city at daytime and do not have to wait till one o'clock at night uh, watching a, a concert which is maybe in a crowded space. Um, and uh, having um, the opportunity to just walk around the street going to venue to venue and we have not the, the risk of building up a stage in the street and the next and the next and then, okay, it's raining and we have a, a big, uh, big financial problem. So what we, um, um, where did, did it come from? There is a certain, uh, there is an uh, event in London which is called Camden Crawl and uh, that uh, happened since a long time and it's a little bit compared uh, 
I can compare it with that because it's also happening in the street. People hanging around in pubs, drinking beer and watching bands. And we thought, okay, we should bring that to, to Berlin and um, giving the artist a new way to present. And even we had a few um, bands which are visiting the city Uh, playing gigs at night, a second opportunity to play. So again, you see, it's very easy to find niche, to find new ways um, uh, doing projects uh, and uh, not being uh, in a um, compete, competing situation with other people um, working in that. And uh, that was a really large success and it happens again at, um, at the 31st of August. So, this, just three small examples of how new thinking is working and what, uh, what we want to do uh, in the future is um, first uh, inviting you for our Friday birthday party. So, this Friday at 5 uh, 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 p.m. we start at Wilner Brauerei, which is only two kilometers Schönhauser Allee up. Um, it's a very nice uh, new um, uh, space. It's a little bit like... Um, Pfefferberg uh, 15 years ago so it's, it's rough and nice and a lot of creative space we will have um, uh, a lot of um, uh, there's a beer garden there's a, 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 a pizza bar and everybody can come uh, on Friday evening and on Saturday evening we also team up with a um, um, UX camp conference uh, guys and girls so there will be a very big party on Saturday evening and um, what um, Our next very big uh, project is we are uh, curating the conference of the Berlin Music Week in September. Um, and um, yeah, I hope to see you maybe there or at Torstraßen Festival or at our party. Thank you. Can we ask a question? Yeah. Can we ask a question? Uh, If you have one. Seven other seven days. Do I need another mic? <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> That one works. Okay. Um, yeah. What, are you, what else are you doing day to day? So you, you're, you're organizing these events, but do you have a, let's say, uh, a small product or, or a, a small set of consulting that you do? Or what? Yeah. yeah we, we, um, new Thinking. We have about uh, 30 people working at New Thinking, um, and uh, we have uh, four parts of the co of the company. Uh, one is event organizing. Second is um, we're doing IT projects. Mm -hmm. We're always saying we want to build platforms online and offline. So we're doing um, open source um, web and um, technology projects. Third is um, we uh, do consulting projects. So we are often invited to to help people solving their problems because we, um, we, we know a lot. For example, we did last year a very big event together with, um, uh, with Frankfurter Buchmesse and Audi. So um, bringing a little bit more of our creative uh, methods into these big, uh, uh, big ships, which are not easily can navigate fast. And, uh, and the fourth part is uh, we have a small publishing house uh, where we, uh, we have uh, one quite successful blog, uh, which is called netzpolitik.org, uh, which is quite an uh, influential um, tech blog in Germany. And um, uh, there we have a lot of uh, connections about Uh, more than 30,000 people reading this every day. So it's kind of a news work. And this is coming back to the magazine. It's also I think what we, do, what we want to do, um, bringing more information about the free and open web to the mm. society. Yeah, my question would, would uh, uh, add on to that. What is the business model from uh, some Beispiel, uh, for example, the Torstrasse Festival? How, how, do you, how can you work with 30 people on a project like that and not making a loss? Yeah, for us, it's, uh, it's always valuable for profit. So what we, what we like to do is what we like to do. And, and so this is the first thing. Um, um, uh, events like Torstraßen Festival, it's, all, it's always um, a rule that you can do it once. And the second time, you have to improve it. And the third time, uh, the, the money must come back. And, and this year, um, uh, we will have the third Torstraßen Festival, and that happens. So this is kind of a product uh, development. For sure, you have to uh, invest a little bit of money in before. Um, but, um, yeah, in the end of the day, it should be a success. But, and this is the other part, we have um, 
uh, events like Republica, or we, we do a large conference which is called Berlin Buzzwords. We are also the IT company for Oxfam in Germany. So we have a lot of interesting clients from, from, from business, small and medium and large, uh, non-profit organization, public um, administration um, yeah. organization. So um, we have a huge variety of business models. We are also have products. Um, for example, we, we are hosting content management systems for our clients, so we have a steady cash flow in that. So it's a, it's a mixture, yeah. but always uh, it was not the idea to ha having a, a startup and uh, burning a lot of money as fast yeah. as possible. Uh, for us it was the idea to have a sustainable business. And yeah. uh, so first rule was no yeah. depth and all this, we, we don't want that. Yeah. And what we want is um, having uh, meaningful, uh, interesting product, uh, projects which are also uh, bring enough money into uh, to pay all these people. You want to? Uh, well, if the if the tourist trust uh, festival becomes big enough, where you have to start selling tickets and giving out badges, badges, and yeah, we do that already. You do. Yeah. Or would you be willing to stop? Well, if it becomes too big and becomes a competitor, I uh, uh, just uh, kind of confront your your strategy. Uh -huh. If you your festival becomes too big and becomes a competitor for the other festivals, as you said, or another venue, or other musicians, would you be willing to stop? Or shift, or shift gears, perhaps? Um, well, for us it was important that we do not do a, such a high-risk thing. So um, we do not uh, stop the traffic, we do not invest in, in stages. Uh, but what we do, we just use the existing uh, venues um, uh, and give the owners of that an, a, a more, another opportunity to, to earn more money. Um, we do not compete with, with them because we do, not, we, uh, we do not book a band in, in, in another venue. We, we're just uh, using free space for, and giving them the opportunity of selling more, uh, more drinks. And the deal with the, with the venues is quite easy. Um, we pay the bands and the te uh, technology, and we, we, get, um, we can sell this uh, wristbands, um, and they have the bar. And uh, this is for everybody, so it's a quite fair idea. We, we pay all the, um, um, all the bands. We have a system of um, uh, known, uh, little known, unknown, uh, uh, and so we have three different kinds of payment for the bands, but every band is, is paid. Um, so it, it's more... A, this is not a cash cow. Yeah, I have another question. You said it's so important for you to include everyone for the magazine of 10 years. And do you have a normal working structure in your office too? Or was that just one time? Well, what we, yeah, as maybe everybody's doing, we do a lot of team meetings. We do a lot of um, new thinking launches uh, one time um, uh, in, the, uh, um, in months. We are, we are meeting with all um, together. And we have a kind of a creative space uh, built up in our, uh, in our office. Um, and, yeah, I think we have a quite a good, uh, uh, yeah, a very cool team, and it's a good, uh, good structure that everybody would like to, to work with, with, with each other. So it's, um, yeah, that we have, there's not a special method. Maybe only we, we, we get uh, lunch delivered, uh, so everybody's uh, eating together. So maybe it's all these small parts coming together, is that, but it's not a big, big strategy. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what was interesting for me, what you showed was the project with the cha colored chairs that was uh, part of the um, Republica. Um, because we were before in the discussions talking a lot about um, how the innovation processes uh, are guiding us. Are we seeing more and more new ways of leadership or, or how do we achieve goals together in a, in a different way? Did you get inspired uh, from different sources to create this idea or did you get inspired by the installation to rethink or to think differently? Uh, or was the idea already there and you tested it? Well, um, I think the first idea was um, to having this plastic chair. Uh, this is a special uh, plastic chair. There is the myth that um, we bought it in South, in South Africa. Uh, the fabric was... And this, the myth was shifted from the former GDR to uh, South Africa. And we re-imported 1,500 of these colored chairs from South Africa to, uh, to uh, Germany. So there was one big container full of them. 
and we really prayed that they come in time because, okay, have you any time bought 1,000 shares in Africa? No. So, um, uh, and then we thought, okay, it's a, it's in, uh, it's in very, it's a global, um, global thing, this plastic chair you find in a favela, also in a, uh, on a rooftop of a, uh, of a skyscraper. So it's used everywhere. So it's kind of a globalized statement using these chairs. And then, out of that, we got the idea, okay, what can we do with this? And that was the idea, okay, we do not do anything with it, let the people do. So, as often, the, the idea just happened when we thought, okay, now we have that, okay, what we will do with that. And, and do you have did this project, because I think it has a lot of potential, did, they, did this project give you more, um, let's say, uh, stimulation on thinking in different fields, how to use, let's say, this kind of strategy? Because now it's a very... It's framed really well and it's done really easily, as you also said, because it gives a very simple method of what can be done. But I think it's a very uh, also visually explaining uh, very quickly how things can work in, in, a, in a community like that. So I think that so would be interesting. So if you have ideas, these chairs are only 500 <laughs> meters from here. The, the container standing over there. You just need uh, maybe six hands for, for four hours to just <laughs> carry them out. Maybe not today. Okay. Um, so, uh, as it's always... Um, <laughs> Um, we we are running uh, for next project, next yeah. and next, and uh, it's always good to get a feedback uh, what we can maybe do again with the things we already done. Mm -hmm. I have to, you are such a Linux believer, and if you stand here, you have the exact Windows logo on your <laughs> front of your head, okay, and bye so bye. I had a feeling that the, there was the devil in the room. Uh, that last question. It's 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 actually a very short question. Um, uh, I just wanted to ask about the monoblock chairs. You comment about it. The, um, what made it, what made it, fixed it is that you filmed it from a specific point at that time, all through that thing to have that film at the end. The actual, the, the interesting piece about that is the film, uh, as apart from the original idea. I mean, lots of people stack chairs in the corner, and you can take one. So, did you consciously think that? So was there a, a plan with the film? When did the filming idea come? Uh, I think that come, came when, when our tech guys get this new toy, a small camera, put it uh, uh, in there. Well, I can, I can really say that we had the plan to say, okay, we have these chairs, we're doing like that, and then we film it, and now I have an image movie. So it was the complete other way around. We, we thought, okay, this idea of this globalized chair is a very nice one. Um, then we have these chairs, okay, what can we do with that? Be and there was another influential thing. Um, if you're organizing events, uh, which is maybe larger than uh, this setting up here, you have to connect the chairs uh, because of uh, fire security. And um, we didn't um, order the special connection thing uh, between these two chairs. And if we even have d uh, done that, uh, people were sitting so close to each other uh, that it would, wouldn't work for a conference. So it was kind of a 50% uh, fail to, uh, to order them <laughs> because we couldn't really use it as a conference chair. And then we said, okay, we have to do something else because for workshops, these chairs do not have to be connected. So we said, okay, uh, we do it uh, like, a, like a concept. People can share it and, and use it as they want it. And so it, um, maybe this is, uh, this is this kind of serendipity uh, pr project development. It's a very Berlin thing. What? It's a very Berlin thing. Getting around the semi-legal maybe problems is something quite special if, if, here. If, if, you, uh, if you name it in an in more intellectual here. way, it's, it's like this uh, serendipity thing, thing just, giving, um, just doing things and having the environment that uh, interesting other things can happen. And um, yeah, maybe it's that. Trusting the process. We, you need to leave at two. It's five past two now. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, uh, thank you for giving your time. And we, uh, I'm going to applaud for you and uh, see you again.